late afternoon pyramid intel regarding manifestation. If your manifestations are not happening, or if you manifest and then it falls apart, repetitive pattern, that any of those things can happen to anyone. But when, when there's a pattern there, this is what could be going wrong. You can fool people here on the 3D. You can manifest uh, using someone else's energy, getting them to come on board with you through lying and cheating and, you know, things like that. But what you can't do is remove negative intentions from your energy field. So if you're manifesting with negativity, jealousy, greed, uh, with the intention to steal or take or use, um, that is all going to be part of your manifestation, which can cause it to go offline and not manifest at all. Or the energy will attract to you your manifestation, but then right behind it is going to be something negative, which could very well remove that or crash it or ruin it in some way because that's the nature of energy. What you put out is what you get back. So people, why would they even do that if it's going to be detrimental to their happiness? Some people have only known how to operate in that energy field. It's a habit. So I would suggest trying something new if this is you. Um, a lot of people believe that it's the only way to be effective. Um, they may not understand that everyone has access to an unlimited energy supply. You really do. You don't have to take it from someone else. And it, it's stronger and much more effective because it's unlimited. It's an unlimited energy supply. If you're sucking it out of other people, you're never doing the best you can. Not only are you getting negative karma, but it's not, the supply isn't really that big, you know? And it really doesn't make any sense. For a lot of people, it's just reprogramming. They don't even realize it. It's habit, which leads me to the next thing, subconscious. Some people may think that they are really doing everything right. They don't even know that they have subconscious negative beliefs going on there. There's a channeling by Ramtha in one of Ramtha's books. He, she discusses um, hidden motivations. This is a big one. This was a big one for me. I've done a lot of work and I thought my intentions are pure. I'm doing fine. But I did the exercise anyway and I was horrified because it's embedded. You know, um, survival instincts on the 3D. This is why people uh, are afraid and will take, you know, every, I would say, quite frankly, I've realized lately probably 90% to 95% of the people on the planet are uh, manifesting with negative emotions quite often subconsciously. It's the survival mechanism that's been programmed into us that makes it dog eat dog. It's a paranoia, a fear, you know, um, that's been drilled into us. Partially true, it is a physical reality, but when you understand the nature of reality and energy and everything, there's no reason to be that way and that things aren't nearly as scary. You know, we can transform once we um, understand and get back on track. So about this, I would suggest that you either, you can visit Ramtha website. Um, I've had a hard time locating the book. If I find it, I'm gonna drop it underneath this video so that you can locate it. I lent it to someone and it's gone now. But what they talk about, hidden motivations. You think that you're doing something for this reason you know, and you're very clear on it. No, I'm doing it for the right reasons. I would never consciously try to use someone or do this or do that. But when you really look deep and you dig underneath it all, all the way down, you'll see, oh my God, <laughs> every uh, situation that you're in and person that you're dealing with, there is some totally self-serving, selfish motivation where you're covering your ass underneath it all. And you didn't even know it. You really, you know, you lie, I, I, you lie to yourself. We all lie to ourselves, you know? And um, that's why you have to do the subconscious. You have to dig into your subconscious and do the, the dark energy work. That's what that's about, you know, the dark night of the soul, looking at all parts of yourself and accepting it. Until you find that part, you're always going to get misfires and slaps and bad luck and stuff like that. 
no, it's not random. It's all math. It's all calculated. It's all energy. It doesn't lie. If things aren't going right, if you dig deep enough, you will find these pieces and address them, you know, and then manifest and it's going to be a totally different experience. Now, is it a simple process? Yeah, but it, it's, it's really hard at the same time because it's a major energetic functioning you know, habit, a program that's running. And so that's why this stuff is, is hard to, to move into. But um, if you apply yourself, if you really want to know and you really want to get the answers and you really want to pull this out of yourself and be effective, it can be very easy to do. It's just like any change, deciding to take the leap and actually make the change is the hardest part. It's like the human condition, but it's, you know, anyway, there you go. I'm putting it out there for someone um, trying to save you some time and effort and energy and backsliding and things like that. And I hope it helps. So have a great day. Okay. Bye.